Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tile Tool Tuesday. In this quick five minute video, we will be talking about and reviewing a diamond hand pad. Now this is for hard materials. Let's quickly show you what we're going to test this on to show you how it works. Now what this does is helps to clean up a rough edge from a cut. This is a porcelain tile cut with a wet saw. But what you want to do is match up your cut edge with a factory edge. So use the diamond pad to clean up this edge prior to installation. So we will show you how it works on a porcelain tile. We will use it on a glass mosaic sheet. I'll show you how it cleans up a cut flat river rock. And of course we will test it out on glass and show you how it quickly cleans up a porcelain plank tile as well. Okay, let's quickly bring the camera up close, show you the diamond hand pad and show you how this cleans up a cut edge. Here we go. Let's open it up. And there it is. You've got foam casing. You've got your diamonds back here. Now keep in mind, this is replacing your standard old rubbing stones. Now rubbing stones have been around a long time, but with personal experience, I can assure you this will last much longer than your rubbing stones. Yes, it is about twice the price, but it will last twice as long. Now this is a 120 grit. It's specifically for polishing cut edges of hard material. It can be used with glass, porcelain, ceramic, stone, concrete. It can be used wet or dry. And like usual, I will leave a link in the description below for pricing on this. Let's quickly show you how this works on hard material. We will start with porcelain. And as you can see here, you've got some chipping on this cut edge. Now this was cut with a wet saw. Regardless of what it is cut with, you will still get some minor chipping on the edge and you want to bring this edge to a factory look. So let's do that right now. And there you go. Hard rectified porcelain, cleans that edge up quickly. Let's move on to glass. Here we have our glass mosaic. And just like the porcelain, we've got rough edges on the cut edges. Let's clean them up. Nice, soft, and polished. Let's quickly do a porcelain plank. Clean up that rough cut edge. And just like that, you have a factory looking edge. Let's move on to half inch thick glass. And look how quick and easy it cleans up that glass edge. Nice and soft. Lastly, we'll do some cut flat river rock. And there you go, quickly beveled the edge of the rock so it's not sharp. For you who are using rubbing stones, give this a try. I have a good feeling you will love it. They last a very, very long time. One pad will last probably 20 to 30 shower remodels. These diamond pads do not wear out quick. With your rubbing stones, you start to get indentions here that make it difficult to clean off and bevel down that cut edge. 
You don't get that with the diamond pad. Again, it's small, it's light, it does the job. It outperforms a rubbing stone all day long. Well, there you guys go. Please let me know in the comment section below what tile tools you would like me to review on these five minute segments. Diamond hand pad to replace your old school rubbing stone. You will not regret it. Again, link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.